Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I have made and shared with you many pulse transformers. Those are switching mode power supplies as shown in the video. You can watch the video again in my channel. But do you know how to calculate and wind the pulse transformer? Today I will show you how to calculate and wind the pulse transformer without using software. It took me a long time to create it. I will share it with you, pay attention to it carefully. The video will continue after the sponsor's advertisement. This video is sponsored by JLC PCB. One fact about them, JLC PCB is the largest PCB Pro 5 enterprise in China. With over 10,000 online orders of PCB prototyping and small quantity PCB production per day. The monthly PCB production capacity is 400,000 square meter for various of one layer, two layer or multi-layer PCB. This is the pulse transformer, which I removed from my computer's power supply. We have to disassemble the parts by boiling with hot water. Then measure and calculate the parameters to rewind the wire. And this is the result. We get a pulse transformer with no gap inside the core. Core diameter is 1 cm. Now we will calculate and wind a pulse transformer with an output voltage of 24 volt and a current of 10 ampere. This is the Excel file I will share with you. First, the blue cells are the data you enter, the yellow cells are the results after being calculated. Here, we will use the half bridge source technology type. Therefore the voltage across the primary coil will be half of the input voltage. Specifically, the voltage 220 VAC after the diode and capacitor bridge will be 310 volts, the voltage in the coil is 155 volts. The operating frequency depends on the control circuit. Here I choose 65 kilohertz. We have the formula for calculating E for the cylindrical core as above. With a diameter of 1 mm E will be equal to 0.785 cm squared. B max we can choose from 1200 to 2000. Here I choose 2000. We see the result after calculating the odd number of turns. We will adjust B max as follows so that the number of rounds is even. Next. We will enter the output voltage and current as we want. Voltage is 24 volts, current is 5 ampere. And current density is from 5 ampere to 7 ampere, we choose 5 ampere. And this is the result after we calculate. We have voltage, current, number of turns of primary wire, diameter of primary wire, number of turns of secondary wire and diameter of secondary wire. Sometimes, we will not have wire with the calculated diameter. Don't worry, I'll help you lies wire from the wires you already have at home. Just enter the wire diameter that you currently have. The program will calculate for you. Here, I only have wires with diameter 0.3 mm and 0.5 mm.
and this is the result after we calculate and choose the wire diameter. Primary winding 40 turns, wire diameter 0.5 mm. Secondary winding 7 turns, lysed wire diameter 0.3 mm 11 wires. Secondary I wound 7 turns because there will be voltage drop under load. Now we will go to wind the transformer with the calculated parameters as above. The first is half the number of turns of the primary. I wound 20 turns of wire. Once done, we have to wrap one layer of insulation. Then we will wrap the secondary layer with seven turns of wire. Once done, we have to wrap one layer of insulation. Then we will wrap the secondary layer with seven turns of wire. Once done, we have to wrap one layer of insulation. Next we will wrap the remaining 20 turns of the primary's wire. Once done, we have to wrap one layer of insulation. And here is the result, a completed 24 volt 5 ampere transformer. I use the pulse transformer test circuit, which I shared with you in the previous video, to test the transformer. Load is a 24 volt 70 watt halogen bulb and an oscilloscope. The output voltage is 25 volt ack and the operating frequency is about 66 kHz.
I use varnish to harden and increase the insulation of the pulse transformer. I showed you how to calculate and wind a complete pulse transformer. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.